to Mimi's kitchen, will y'all? Today was more like summer than it was spring, and you know how South Carolina weather is. So we just take what we can get, and we're just happy for it. So we're praying for some rain, though. Y'all, it is so dry. And so y'all pray with us that we'll get some rain here in South Carolina. The dish we're going to make today is called Copper Pennies. Now, I was introduced to this dish at a tailgate party at Clemson University. Go Tigers! And so, um, I thought maybe I would share it with you today because it, because it is real good. This time of year, you'll be going to picnic sort of things and cookouts, and this is ideal to take for something like that. And it's very easy, you make it ahead, and the longer it marinates, the better. So it's, it has a, a, a long life. So the first thing we're going to do, this is a can, um, and it's 14.5 ounces of sliced carrots. So we're gonna pour that in our colander. Pour that, so you use two cans of the carrots. Okay, all right, and then the next thing, it says to slice an onion. So we're going to get that part off and we'll get all this off. And I know you don't want to waste your time watching me slice an onion. So I'll tell you what, as soon as we get this sliced, we'll be right back. Okay, I sliced that onion and I, I sliced it. Well, you see about how, how thick it is. It doesn't need to be real thick because you're going to be eating this. Oh, y'all, look at this pretty little dish I found at Home Goods, my favorite place to shop. All right, we're going to take the top off, and then we're going to put all of this onion in here. Okay, now, one bell pepper. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut this bell pepper here. Oh, there we go. Cut the bottom off of it. Now, instead of making rings with the bell pepper, we're going to slice it right down through the pepper itself. So let me clean this up, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. All right, now, here's our bell pepper. And we're going to slice this one like this into just little strips. Y'all, this is very colorful. And um, I think the reason <laughs> that we loved it so when we ate it at Clemson is because it has the orange carrots. So that was very fitting for a Clemson tailgate dish. Okay. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all. Now, the next thing we're going to do, this is one can of tomato soup. It's just a regular size can, 10.75 ounces. We're gonna put that in our pan here. Get all of that soup out of it. Okay. Now then, we're going to add three-fourths of a cup of distilled white vinegar. That's just plain, just plain old vinegar. Now, you don't want to use any kind of spiced up one. Just this plain vinegar. And three-fourths of a cup. There we go. That's exactly right. Pour that in there. And then three-fourths of a cup of sugar. I couldn't believe it, but my individual measuring cups didn't have a three-fourths. Okay, that's three-fourths right there. All right, add that in. And then a teaspoon of salt. That's a teaspoon of salt. Or thereabouts. 
All right, and a teaspoon of pepper. Whoa, I do think that's a little bit more than a teaspoon. Okay, teaspoon of pepper. A little bit of dill weed. I just sprinkle some in there. And then just a teaspoon of Worcestershire, so we could guesstimate that. And a fourth of a cup of oil. Okay. So we're gonna turn that on. Now what you do is you just get all these mixed together really good, and then we're going to let it come just to a boil. And immediately when it boils, we're gonna take it off. We don't wanna cook it, it's just enough to heat it to get all of these ingredients together. And then once we do that, we're going to pour that over our carrots and onions and bell peppers. So, look how pretty they are. See, y'all, that would be such a pretty dish. So, it'd be something you could take somewhere and everybody say, ooh, that is so pretty. So, I like this stuff to look good as well as taste good. So, we're going to let this come to a boil and we'll be back. Okay, y'all. See, it has come to a boil. So, I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to take it off. Now, that helps... Um, all of those ingredients to get acquainted with one another. And then your tomato soup tends to be kind of thick. So this helps to thin it out. So, all right. Ooh, y'all, it smells good. Isn't that pretty? So see, that would be such a colorful dish to take somewhere. And it goes good with hamburgers, hot dogs, barbecue, seafood, you name it. It will be right there with it. All right, we'll be right okay, back. y'all. This recipe is in the cookbook and it's on page five and it's called copper pennies. It's very easy to make and uh, very simple ingredients and uh, just something that's easy for you to throw together and see how pretty it looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit because that mixture was very hot that we put in there. And this container is so wonderful because it just sits right there on the top. I'll put that in the refrigerator. It needs to Marinate at least overnight before you serve it. So always try to make it the day before. And then it keeps up to two weeks in the refrigerator. So that's a wonderful thing. You can serve it with several things and um, it would be good just to, just to eat as a side dish, you know, with whatever you're serving. Now I want to tell you, yesterday um, we went to see my brother. His birthday was this past Saturday. He was 79 years old. I have two sisters and a brother. There's four of us, and I'm the oldest. And so we had a good time yesterday. But he was telling the funniest story. When he was in, um, really, it would be middle school, what we would think of now, he had a paper route. And so mom and daddy decided they needed to buy him a bicycle. Well, we didn't have a whole lot of money, and so they were buying a used bicycle, so they had to get whatever they could find. Well, the bicycle was so big that he couldn't even get on the bicycle, except he had to pull it up to the front steps of the house and get on the second step and then get on his bicycle. Well, that was incentive for him to stay on his bicycle the whole time that he had his paper out. Because if he fell off the bicycle, he couldn't get back on it. So he said he was, one morning, he was out delivering his paper, and he fell off the bicycle. And he thought, oh, what am I going to do? And he, the house that he had gone to had a split rail fence. And he said, so he pulled the bicycle up, 
climbed up on the, spit of the, of the split rail fence and jumped on the bicycle and took off. And he said, well, I never fell again when I left there. So we just had a lot of fun laughing. You know, it's just so much fun when you get together with your family and you tell those old stories and just reminisce about times past. So it was a lot of fun. We just enjoyed being together and um, talking and laughing. I hope y'all have a good rest of the week this week. Enjoy this weather. Like I said, pray for rain. We need it. And everybody, shine for Jesus.